I'm Paul Noddings with Music Wormhole. I'm here to tell you about our new iPad app. This app is an excellent practice tool for music students and it's a great way to have fun with your friends. You can project the iPhone app onto an overhead projector or a TV screen such as this one. This app helps people to play music together. It is a music theory reference tool that is excellent for music teachers to communicate the more complex subjects of music to their music students. Take a look at the major scale of this app, where we have the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, back to one of the major scale. Let me explain some of the features of this app. When we bring up the app, in this case we'll use the piano app, the first level is free. By clicking on this top level, we show a single chord at a time. These are the major chords organized in the chromatic scale. We play the C major chord, swipe the screen and play the C sharp major chord. Swipe the screen again and play the D major chord and go around the entire chromatic scale until we come back to the C major chord again. For a small in-app purchase, you can go to the 145 chord progression, which allows people to learn more about playing songs. The 145 chord progression is the most used chord progression in the history of music and it's used in many songs. You can play a small tune like this. Notice how the chord names are recorded in the measure bars at the top of the screen. And if we swipe the screen, these chord names automatically transpose to the next key. And that will happen an entire way around the circle of fifths. You can also change the number of beats per minute. By tapping on this metronome icon, we can go to 100 beats per minute. We'll leave the loop feature on and we will hit the play button. This will loop around continuously until the battery runs out. This is a great feature for practicing. Let's take a look at some of the detail on the features of this app. Let's use the guitar. Notice if you put your finger on one of these chords and hold it, it will zoom in and then play an arpeggiated version of the chord. See how each note that makes up the chord is highlighted and the fingers that are used to play those chords are shown. This is common throughout all the apps. For example, if we look at the piano app and we highlight the E minor key, where we can see that the notes that make up the E minor chord are the E, G and B notes and that they are played with the left hand with the 5, 3, 1 finger and with the right hand the 1, 3 and 5 finger. This is detail that helps a beginning student to appreciate the differences in the minor chords versus the major chords. On this app, all of the minor chords are shown in the outermost band. The middle band are all major chords. And the inner band is the single diminished chord that is found in each major scale. There is also a quarter rest feature built into this app. For instance, we might play 1, 1, quarter rest, 5. And then we might loop that and it'll sound like this. We also have the opportunity to make each chord a full screen showing by touching this this icon, we now show this chord progression as a full screen chord progression, which can be helpful if you sat at your instrument. If you use the app to help you to play on your instrument, you might use it something like this. The final level of this app is the major scale showing the chords which are diatonic to the major scale. By swiping the screen, we go to the next key in the circle of fifths, and we can make up our own chord progression to go in this menu bar at the top. For instance, you might be practicing to play the song Margaritaville, which goes F, G, C, C. So we'll go to the key of C, and we'll go F, 
G C C. Now perhaps you're playing that on a ukulele. So we'll go to the ukulele app and we'll go F G C C. By practicing this on your instrument, using the iPad to help you and guide you along, you will get further, faster and have more fun. Thanks for watching this video.